All right, this tutorial is for Code.org CS Discoveries Unit 2 Web Development Lesson 19, uh, Linking Pages. So this is the new code we're going to use, this A tag here. All right, so for this one here, we've got some hyperlinks, which link us, links us to other pages. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and turn the inspector on and hover over each one. And if we do that, we see this home link. We've got a space href equals, and then we've got in quotes index.html, which is our main page. And then we have the word home, which matches this word here. And then we close out with a slash a. Okay, if we go to fun facts, this is very similar. Let's see if we can get around there. Uh, we've got a space href equals, and then we have facts.html in quotes, and that's the name of the web page. It's the name of the web file over here. And then we have the words fun facts, which are the words that show up in the link. And then we have the closing a tag. All right, so that's how the how these tags work here. So let's go ahead and move to the next exercise. So for this one, they want us to look at the working link. So we'll turn this on. Looks like we've got a link for the Golden Gate Bridge. We've got a link for London Tower and for Golden Bridge. Okay, and then what we're going to do is go ahead and add code that will link from the index page to the Charles Bridge page. So there's no Charles Bridge link on here, um, but if we look over here, looks like we've got a charlesbridge.html file there. So let's go ahead and go to the bottom of these links, and the Golden Bridge is the last one. So we'll just add one more after it. A space href equals... And then in quotes, you're going to put the name of the file that's over here. So they want us to do Charles Bridge. So we'll go charlesbridge.html. The JPEG is the image. We don't want to link to the image. We want to link to the page. Okay. And then put the right angle bracket. Then we're going to put the name of the page it's linking to that we want to show up over here. And that's going to be Charles Bridge. And then we're going to close out our tag here. Okay, looks like I just forgot to put a break in between. So let's go, go ahead and put a line break in between. So that's just the BR tag. And that gives us the Charles Bridge link on a new line. All right, let's move forward to exercise number four. Okay, they want us to see how these links work. So we can click on them. It takes us to other pages. I can go back to the home. We'll click on Daisy, that takes us to the Daisy page. I can go back to the home. They want us to change the name of the links to make it clear where they will take us. So, um, let's see, we've got Learn More. And this takes us to the Roses page. Okay, so if we go to the inspector, turn it on, we go to Learn More. And it's not wanting me to get through. We'll just go over here. So we've got learn more. They must have just changed the name of the link. So instead of learn more, we could say we could do that, or we could, we could give it a different name. So um, let's go to daisy.html. And let's change this. And it's really up to you how you want to change the name. But I'm going to just go ahead and do it this way. And we've got the sunflowers. It's kind of long. And I'm going to change this here. Learn more about sunflowers. All right, so it's really up to you how you want to change the names here. But just know that you can change them here like that. And that's it for that one. Let's go ahead and move to five. 
then wants to click on the links in the index HTML and see which ones are broken. So let's check, click on Scotcheroo's recipe. Nothing's happening. How about how to juggle? Nothing's happening. Fun facts about candy works, but not these first two. So let's go ahead and fix these. So we've got how to make... I'm going to give myself some more space. All right, so we've got some spaces in between the names of the in the name of this file here, so let's fix that. So I'm going to right click and go to rename and let's just take those out. We can put in underscores and that should fix the problem. And let's go over here how and we'll put in the underscores and it looks like it's trying to suggest that to us as well. Okay, we can just make sure Looks like I added it twice. Okay, so how to make scotchers.html. So that should work. Let's go ahead and look. We've got how to juggle. Where is that going? That one. Looks like new3.html. And then we've got new-3.html. So let's rename this how to juggle. How underscore two underscore juggle. And we can do that make sure it matches here. Okay, if we change the name of the file, we gotta make sure we change the name of the link that goes to it. All right, and then let's go ahead and refresh and save and double check, see if these links work. How to make scotcheroos.html. Oh, we got another S there. Let's refresh and save that. There we go. That one works, and if I go back to the index HTML, I can go to how to juggle and go back to home. Okay, so that looks good, uh, and this one works as well. All right, for the next stop, they want us to look over the navigation bar, uh, which are these three links that takes us to the different types of cycles, um, and they want us to add the same navigation bar to the other three pages. So we've got a bicycle.html, index.html, tricycle.html, and unicycle.html. And we should have these three links at the top of all of them. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to our three links, and let's just copy this. And go to bicycle.html, and we can go ahead and let's see where that was. Just right under bicycle. So we could put this at the very top or just underneath bicycle. But let's just make it um, underneath it because that's how the other pages were. Actually, I don't like it there. I'm going to move it up here. And then I'm going to do the same for tricycle. We're going to put it just inside the body, first body tag. And then for a unicycle, same thing. We'll go just inside the first body tag. And now we've got links for all three on all of them. Okay, next step on exercise seven, they want us to add a new HTML file and rename the file and make sure it's a unique name and end it dot HTML and then add a new page. And then we want to link our page from index HTML to the new page. So first of all, we'll start here, add a new file. We'll go add HTML. So this page was about hair. So let's say, um, let's see, we already had this one here. I'm gonna right click and rename it. So let's say fun, let's call fun underscore hair. All right, that'll be the name of it. So what I'm going to do now is going to go ahead and add some HTML to it. Okay, and then maybe I'll add a few images real quick. 
Okay, so I've just gone ahead and downloaded a, a new image and put it on here. I've uploaded it to my page, and I'm just going to go ahead and put some, just do my attribution for the image below it. So I've got my attribution there. Um, so now what, what they really want us to do is just create a, a, some sort of page and then link it to the home page. So um, this is called uh, funhair.html. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to index.html and let's go ahead and link it. And let's just do it about, let's just do it at the top. So uh, right after the body tag, I'm just going to go ahead and put in equals, and then we're going to say funhair.html, and we're going to say fun hairstyles, and then we're going to close that out. So let's hit, I'm just going to hit refresh and save and see if that goes there, which it does. So now we could do a link to the home page. And the home page name was index.html. And we'll just say home, and then we'll close this out. And let's refresh and save and make sure this works. And it goes back and forth, perfect. Okay, so we've got just one more left on here. There are a couple exercises, so let's click on external links. So we can click the tenor inspector on and look at a link. This is a link to Google. So it's very similar to other links, uh, but it just has the web address, the HTTPS colon slash slash www.google.com. Um, and so we can uh, link to another website here uh, if we want to. Okay, so we've got that here, and we've got, and this is just uh, another search website. And let's see if this works. Refresh and save. And there we go, another one. So you can uh, add other websites, whatever websites you want, and more content if you'd like to. I just wanted to show how you could add an external link to it. So let's hit finish and do the last one real quick. You can use an image as a link. So if we look here, turn our inspector on, uh, go over to the images. We see here, we still have this same a href equals, and then we have angelfalls.html, which is, uh, which is our HTML page here for this specific type of waterfall. And then we've got, uh, the actual image showing up now with this image class equals uh, top dash img source equals angelfalls.jpg. So that's kind of how it works. You would still put in your image tag, um, but that would go in between the first a tag and then the closing a tag. So that's how that would work. So if you wanted to add a, other links for the other images, you could do that as well. So we could turn the other one. So we could turn this into a link. If we go here, we're going to say um, this is Victoria Falls. So let's go over here to Victoria Falls. And let's go ahead and do ahref equals. Okay, and then let's see if we've got it on here. Victoria Falls HTML. I'm going to link to there, and then we've got our image tag, and at the very end, we'll close it with the slash a. Okay, and then Niagara Falls, same thing, a space href equals, and then in quotes, find our Niagara Falls, where is it, dot html, close that tag out, and at the very end, slash a, and refresh and save, and let's see if these two work. So that's working. That's great. And let's go back to the main page and check out the last one. And that takes us back. So that's it for lesson 19.